Assalamu alaikum. In this video, uh, you are seeing a question uh, related to dimensional consistency. And uh, it is from the Chemical Engineering Principles course book, Hemel's Law. And from now onwards, I have my aim to solve the numerical problem which students are having difficulty in. And if you want your problem to be answered, do tell me in the comments, okay? So let us see this question. They're saying that hydrogen can be separated from natural gas by diffusion. Okay. And the rate of separation is given by n is equal to 2 pi d rho r. Okay. It's in front of you. And we need to know what are the units. Okay. We need to know what are the units of d. So we can see that they have also given us that d is the diffusion coefficient. What is d? It is the diffusion coefficient. And we are not... Uh, so much concerned with what these are because we are dealing here with units and we just want to know what are the units and to know the units we must know to know the units of d we must know what is the unit of n rho and r and luckily they have given us that what are the units of rho r and n okay so how would we now do for d what would we do for d okay so it's as it's simple let me write that it's D equal to because 2 pi we see uh, is uh, not uh, related to this 2 pi which you can see this 2 pi is not related to the units okay um, for a unit we need a unit and 2 pi when we talk about the dimensional consistency the constants do not have a unit and because we don't have a unit, we neglect it because we don't have a unit. So, so whatever we are concerned over here for the dimensional consistency, 2 pi is related to the values, okay? So, for we don't want numerical value over here. We want units. So, we would take those variables which have units. So, except D over here, which variables have units, okay? It's N, it's rho, it's R, okay? So, D is equal to N upon rho R, right? Right? So, for our E's, we can write it like it, that N, what are the units of N? It's gram mole per second multiply by centimeter. Okay. Now, what about raw? It's in divide. So I would write it like this. Okay, ignore my divide. Very um, okay. So it divide over here. So it is divided by the units of um, raw. And what are the units of raw? Gram moles per centimeter cube. So we'll write as gram mole per centimeter. U. And this is also in division with R. So what we would write? Division with, sorry, with N, okay? So we would also write division R. What is the unit of R? Okay, look at this. What are, what can be the units of R? You know, Ln upon R2 upon R1 gives us a power. And the power is a number, which is again a constant. And this, this uh, part would not have any units. But when we see R2 minus R1, we see that it's in centimeter. So R2 minus R1 would yield a centimeter. And we know that radius is in centimeter because the length is dimension. Okay. So what would we write? We would again write here in the y. We write divide by centimeter. Right? Easy. Now next we do. We will convert this divide into multiplication and write the terms as it is. Gram 
mode. Second, change the centimeter. And when we know when divides change to multiply, the centimeter cube and the gram moles put invert over each other like this. Centimeter centimeter cube with cups up and gram moles would go down. Right? Similarly with there. Centimeter would go up and down we see it's one. So I'm sorry. You would see that one would come up and in the divide you would get centimeter. Okay. So gram moles and gram moles would cancel each other centimeter. Centimeter would cancel three minus two equal to one over here because there are two powers in the downtown and two powers in the upper town or uh, three powers in the upper town the three minus two will give you one okay and what is left one centimeter power up and one second power down right so centimeter per second so the units of dr Units to be our centimeter per second. This is all with the solution. And if you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section below. And uh, secondly, do like and subscribe. And uh, encourage me to make more videos. Because how would I know that my videos are being watched. And I have a potential to make more videos. And I can make more videos and make you understand more things. So do tell me, okay? Thank you very much for watching.